Okay, we're going to talk about the proper portion of your water. Two ingredients that we use most of the time, Dawn, ammonia. They make ammonia in different strengths. If you get the weak stuff, you'll need more. The purpose of the ammonia is to break up grease and fingerprints. You can clean without ammonia. Ammonia pretty much vaporizes cobwebs. So on a construction, not a construction clean, on a building that hasn't been cleaned in a couple years, I can literally use a whole jug of ammonia, a whole one gallon jug in one bucket. Uh, that's more for high rise and buildings on routes. Your stuff is more maintained. You'll need much less ammonia. I'm gonna show you the typical portion and it will be more if you're doing, say, a place that serves chicken, a restaurant that has real greasy handprints, and oftentimes for the places where there's extra handprints and grease, rather than fight and add too much ammonia and maybe not have it work or have it kind of dry up your hands, it makes sense to bring your scraper, which I did not mention that scrapers are great for greasy chicken prints. All over the window, scrape it off, done. Uh, so if your ammonia is not cutting it, you always have a scraper. Proper ammonia portion. I don't have an exact, but I would assume it's roughly a half a cup. That's about all you need. Okay, not a ton. One quick pour. The soap. A lot of guys in the company don't know how to use the soap properly. One little Dawn bottle can last me two weeks. It lasts our average guy right now about two days. Uh, they put so much soap in the water that it causes a foamy mess of everything else. So there's a, a right portion and a wrong, and when you don't have it, you can always add more. So it's like getting your hair cut. If you cut it long, you can always cut it shorter. But if you cut it short, you gotta wait for it to grow out or change your bucket, okay? So um, this pours very poorly. I recommend having little squeeze bottles. If I just assumed how much is to be in here, I'll show you here. That's quite a bit of soap, okay? That's probably a little bit more than I would ordinarily want. The whole goal is not the bucket, but the glass. You want it to make bubbles on the glass. Uh, so this here, there's not adequate bubbles, which means there's not enough lubrication, which means your rubber will not glide as easy. Two things that affect the rubber gliding are the quality of the rubber, which we'll talk about, how much soap is in your bucket, so three things, uh, and the angle of the head, okay? A lot of guys use what's called a ninja. Uh, I don't have a, yes I do have a ninja here in this bucket. This is a ninja. You'll notice the head angle is deeper, or uh, maybe this is 45 degrees and this is 33, okay? Of the head, this actual angle here. So that means this is not gonna bind as easy, which guys compensate by using more soap. The proper way to compensate it is the distance between your fingers and the glass. On this squeegee, your fingers are almost riding on the glass. They're actually touching, okay? On this squeegee, there's a little more versatility to go in or out. Um, so proper soap portion, let's get back to that. Once we bring out our mop, okay, that helps stir up the, the contents of the water. You'll notice I went down and squeezed. And there's a good adequate amount of soap on the window. Um, Maybe even a little too much, but it does kind of, after the first initial, once it fully uh, mixes in the bucket, you'll notice there probably won't be quite as many bubbles on the glass. But that's about the perfect soap amount for me. So you can see that I can literally pour the amount of soap I needed into the palm of my hand. So if it spills outside of the palm of your hand, that's too much soap. Too much soap is a waste, and it takes more time to wipe your frame. So we'll get to that. Okay, that's it for portioning your bucket. Um, actually, side note, methanol, which we use in the winter time, a lot of guys have questions over that, so we're going to make another topic out of that in another video. Thanks.